What is off plan? Off plan here in the UAE is something which is not ready yet. It's going to be a piece of land, which is sand, and then they're going to come up with a, an idea and a dream of what they're going to put there, whether it's so many units or whether it's this view or that view, whatever. Okay, so it's something that doesn't exist yet. It's an idea, but something which could be done in one year, two years, three years, or even four years, depending on the construction. Now, and I bet you're wondering why would I buy off plan? Why I think a good reason to buy off plan is because you're going to get this project in this unit at fair value. You're going to get it at fair value. And in addition to getting in early, the property value will appreciate over time. That's another bonus to getting in early. Something else that I want to bring um, emphasis to is the fact that when you buy off plan, you get an amazing payment plan interest free. So you're not taking out a mortgage where you're borrowing from the bank, but you're getting in on interest free payment plans. Another really interesting thing about off plan is that because it's, for example, we're in 2024, let's say a project launches now and that's going to be ready in 2027 because the trends are getting better. And, um, these developers are learning from past mistakes, the amenities, the sizes, the design, and everything is getting better. When you invest in off plan, you're investing in the future. So you're going to get the newest thing on the market. That's another no brainer. In my opinion, why off plan is better than secondary with secondary, the project is already ready in order to take that project or that property. Many people have to take a mortgage or you have to have, for example, say for studio 550,000 Durham cash ready. You have to have it ready pay it and then okay let's say you get uh, a tenant you rent it you holiday home it or whatever the amount of money you make in one year of appreciation and off plan is better than that one year you're going to make in revenue for your secondary when you're buying that secondary as well you must take in consideration that someone else has already added in their profit sometimes 100k 200k why buy secondary all cash in hand at one go to pay more or to pay over value it doesn't make much sense to me I know I'm keep going on and on and on about this, but another bonus to off plan is that you can actually pick your unit. You can pick your view. You can pick the, the one with the biggest square footage. You can pick, for example, the unit type, the number you want, the unit number you want. If you want 414, you can get 414. If you want 415, you can get 415. So at least you get to pick from what you want. Now, my favorite part of off plan by all means is the payment plan. Hear this. Some payment plans literally Say you can pay 10% plus the 4% DLD from the government. That's another thing, but just 10% of the total value to go ahead and get the ball rolling so that you can sign the SBA. The SBA is the agreement sellers agreement. Now 10%, imagine you just bought a property for 450 K and you pay 10% Now Imagine the total price for the project is 500,000 yeah. Durham and you only need to pay 10%. That's a lot easier than paying 500,000 at one time. And another good thing is that some developers even offers 1% per month until the completion. This is mind blowing. It gives everyone the fair opportunity to own their first property. And even in some cases, they offer you post handover payment plan, meaning that if you were to rent it to a tenant, the tenant would essentially be paying the total amount that you're owing the developer. It's absolutely mind blowing and a no brainer, like seriously. And another thing with off plan and even secondary as well, is that you can get the 10 year visa. Once you pay a certain amount, that certain amount is 2 million dirham. Once you pay 2 million dirham on a property, you get a 10 year visa. Who wouldn't want a 10 year visa in a country that has amazing weather, no taxes. Like it's just absolutely mind blowing. All right. Now I want to make a very important point. This point is that please don't waste my time and your time. I get a lot of messages and emails and the such where people are saying unrealistic budgets. It's very hard for someone to find a studio apartment for a hundred thousand dirham. I mean a hundred thousand pounds. It's not, it's not possible anymore. The prices have gone up. The, the material is getting better. The innovation is going up. The locations are getting better. There's better transport that's coming to these locations and things like that. Yes. If you come to me and say, Hey, I have 450,000 Durham. I want to get a studio apartment. Yes. I can offer you something that's quite far away and it's not going to be the best investment for you to make a lot of money. 
Now, I offer my clients the best, the best location, the best views, the best developers, the best of everything. This is the reason why I'm making this video to tell you that you should buy offline because I'm trying to give you something which is better. Now, that point about you not coming to me with a lower budget. Another thing, if you're going to buy something, for example, a one bedroom for 900,000 or 1 million, make sure if it's a 50% up until handover, you have half the money ready. Don't come if you have 300,000 and it's a million and you're not going to be able to pay it because you don't want to get into late fees. You don't want to get penalties. You don't want to be getting your property taken from you. You don't want that. So that's the reason why I'm here to help you. And if you have the money, then you should definitely go for off plan. It's a no brainer. One of the number one ways to be successful in your investment here in the UAE and in Dubai specifically with off plan is to have a trustworthy agent like myself or a very good developer. Yes, there's hundreds of developers popping up around here in Dubai with new projects and, you know, very um, attractive payment plans and things like that. But you should really have a trustworthy agent who knows the market, who knows the land, who knows the rental, the, what's going on in the rental, what's going on in the secondary, what's going on in the locations in Dubai. It's very important for you to maximize and make the most money. And that's why I'm here to help you. With that being said, Another thing, which is uh, a question that I get a lot is that, is it safe? What about my money? What if the construction doesn't finish? Or what if something goes left? Now, the, the brilliant thing about with the UAE is that there's an escrow account with the developer in the project. So the, the developer don't get access to the funds until they complete the construction, until they meet all their milestones, until everything is good. So the government is actually monitoring this and making your investment safe. What about that? All right, so that's some of the advantages for the off plan. If you want to get in contact with me, you can go down in the description and there'll be a link down there so you can get in direct contact with me and I can tell you way more stuff about off plan. But to get started, I want to tell you guys how you would get started. First, you would need to find a trustworthy broker like myself and I'm happy to help help you guys. And then we need to figure out what you want to buy or which developer you want to go with and which unit you need and your budget, okay? So we need to know your budget what unit type you want, what area you want. And then once all that's done, then we can go to the developer. We can say, hey, I have many friends in the developer, like all the major developers, I have very close connections with them. So we go there and maybe I can even get you a discount. We go there and say, hey, I got this client. They're looking for a one bedroom. This is their budget, what we got for them. And then we go ahead and say, hey, we got this view. We got this location. We got this project or, or even better, we got that one. Then once that's finalized, then we would go ahead and we need from you a passport, a phone number, an email, yeah, and home address from which country you're in, and then we can get the ball started. Once we have those details, then we can get the ball started, and then you will go ahead with the, the down payment or the EOI, the expression of interest. You will, okay, so once you pay that EOI, that 5,000 to 20,000, that will get the ball rolling. Once the ball is rolling, you're gonna get the sales offer. The sales offer is gonna have everything in there from the unit, the specific unit, the specific project, the payment plan, how long is what you need to pay over the time and everything like that. Then you go to the next step, which is paying off. You're going to have a certain amount of time. Sometimes it can be a month. Sometimes it can be a week. Sometimes it can be, it differs between developer to developer, but you're going to have a small amount of time to get that 20% or 10% plus 4% DLD, which is the government fees. Okay. So you're going to have a certain amount of time to get that paid. Once you have that paid, then you go into the next step which is the SPA or the seller's agreement. You have to sign it. Sometimes if you're out of the country, they can send it to your house and you sign it at your house and you send it back. Sometimes they send electric copies, sometimes they send paper copies, and then you go ahead and you send it back. Once the developer receives it back and you've paid the money, the down payment and the, and the government fees, then they issue you the ACUDI, also better known as the initial contract to sell or title D. Then you have that and then you proceed on with your payment plan. So after you pay the 24%, maybe it's say in six months, you must pay 5% or in one year, you must pay 10% and on and on and on. Okay. That's how that goes. And then after you do that, then pretty much you own the property and then I'll keep you updated with videos of the construction and the updates of how much is getting done. Sometimes developers finish the project early. This is a bonus for you, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's quite simple to be honest. All right. And the last thing before I end off this video, you do not have to be in the country to get this done. You can be in your home country. I have people who can facilitate the funds to get inside of the country for you to make the payments. Developers offer payment links where you can pay directly and things like that. So 
it's so convenient and so easy. So I just want to get the ball rolling with you guys. And even myself, inshallah, I'm thinking of getting my own property as well. So if this sounds interesting to you guys, please don't forget to support this video by giving it a thumbs up, smashing that subscribe button because many of you guys that are watching this video are not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification and leave your comments down below. So this is how you buy an off plan property here in the UAE in Dubai. And I'm your agent for you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.